everybody, I am Sarav from Bangalore, India. I am sure you would agree that most of our parents uh, try to get us almost everything that we wish for. They put in their efforts, time and money to ensure our wishes are fulfilled. However, they may not have favorable, favorable conditions all the time. Have you faced any such situation when you could not get what you have wished for? What feelings did you go through and how did you cope with those situations? Let me say one such experience of mine. During the pandemic, I started watching Blayblade channels. I got very interested in playing with Blayblades. I asked my parents to buy, buy me one of those. Since, since it was not feasible to visit any stores due to lockdown, my parents asked me to play with the toys that I had. Well, I was very disappointed. Legos were my favorite pastime. While I was playing with Legos, I started building structures that resembled blade blades. My parents appreciated what I, what I built and told me, why don't you uh, try building a working blade blades out of Lego? I was initially doubtful. However, I gradually started building better structures that could spin. My excitement had no bounds. This motivated me to build more customizable blade blades to a point where I started having blade blade battles with my parents. I felt awesome. Post lockdown, when it was feasible, my parents took me to a toy store to buy me the blade blade set I wished for. Would you believe that this did not did, did this did not excite me at all? I was more interested to play with the blade blades that I had built. This made me wonder why was it so? Weren't those blade blades? Uh, was it that those blade blades weren't built by me? Or was it that they were not customizable according to my imagination? I was completely clueless. There was an unknown change in the way I was seeing or thinking about the objects around me. I would paint and reuse mud cups as, and delivery boxes as planters. Create a pencil stand out of an unusable bottle and so on. People around me then started uh, praising for me to be crea uh, creative. I was not creative. Was I not creative earlier? Or did I not use my creativity earlier? This, that instance when my parents said no for buying me the blade blades, did that lead to the change in me? Was that no the trigger point for me to explore the creativity? What if I had just to uh, draw, drop the whole idea of playing with labels or pestering my parents uh, to anyhow buy me one? Would I have ever discovered I, was cre I am creative as well? Think about it. Have you ever got an opportunity to explore your creativity? Did you lose it? We all are creative. The only thing needed is to be observant of things around us and try to explore our true potential. What do we gain? Well, our creativity finds new ways to solve a problem. Is that all? No. We start valuing reuse, which is essential to reduce waste generation. We tend to accumulate a lot of toys, which most often lie there unused. Someday we would just discard the old ones and buy new ones. According to a study, every year about 26.8 million toys are thrown in the trash in Australia alone. The toy industry is the most plastic intense industry in the world. 90% of the toys are made out of plastic. For every million of dollars in the revenues, 40 tons of plastic is used. As we grow up, this habit of ours would gradually lead us in creating more waste. 
and this is not good for our planet Earth. At this very moment, we need 1.79 number of planet Earths to provide the resources and absorb our waste. Imagine the amount of waste that we could stop from getting generated if each of us use our creativity in reusing what we already have effectively. The next time you get an opportunity to explore your creativity, do not lose it. Let us all be creative, uh, creative and apply our creativity in reusing available resources. We can uh, together make our planet Earth a beautiful place to live in. Thank you.